we want to talk about the mouse with two dads. So it's a Japanese group who've been working on fertilisation for decades and it's all about IVF and infertility, right? And what they did was they took a male cell from a mouse, right? Now remember, a male cell has an X and a Y chromosome. That's yeah. what makes it a male cell. A female is XX, as you probably know, right? They got the XY cell, took out the Y chromosome, removed it from the cell, right? Yeah. Stuck in another X and now they've made that cell female, if you know what I mean. Uh, but an X from uh, they borrowed the same... A, a borrowed yeah, X. Yeah, from, from, from... Remember... Us, us men have an X and a Y in our cells, yeah. you see. So all that makes a difference is we, we got one Y. So they, they swapped a Y with an X, basically. They have a double X cell now, right? Yeah, and it's the same genetic material yeah. uh, of, of the, 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 the parent. parent. precisely. Yeah. And then they did something very clever, Pat. They, they removed the X again. They differentiated that cell back into being an egg. So here we have another amazing thing. They took a male cell to turn it back into an egg, as it were, with two yeah. X, with one X. Eggs only have one X, remember. The yeah. egg only has a single X. Then they got a sperm and they fertilised that. And the Y went in and made an XY. And that little that little thing was born, as, as a, in that case, as a male. You know. How, how was the baby mouse? Well, very healthy. Now, the trouble is that there's, there's, a, bit, there's a few, it's tricky to do for, for obvious reasons. You know, it's not very efficient. They had 600 embryos, only seven survived. Of seven, the, seven of the, of the 600. 600, yeah. But those seven were viable, implanted into a, a female mouse. Obviously, you still need a uterus for the egg yeah. to develop into, into a female, and a baby mouse was born. Normal, right? And that mouse went on to breed. 